is a cheaper sketchbook that I bought just to kind of play around with, um, keep little notes in. For a long time, I wasn't really using this, um, but recently I've decided I wanted to get back into my sketchbook practice, um, something that is a little less intensive than an art journal um, and just a little bit more playful, um, just working through some ideas. So you can see I've been dating my pages here with a little um, stamper that I use. And the idea is this paper isn't um, very durable. It's quite thin sketching paper. So uh, there's no pressure for me to paint in here. Um, not that painting always feels pressured, but this is, is just like little quick studies to keep the ideas flowing. So I, I've been starting with um, pieces of paper. So like this one here is um, a piece of watercolor and mixed media paper that has some work on it already, a jelly print, a piece of brown paper, and then I've used a wax crayon and neo color pastels, um, the water soluble ones for up here and writing. Um, I find it's really helpful to just tear off a piece of paper and get started. So with this page, I probably started with this piece or this piece, I can't remember now, um, it wasn't that long ago, um, but I tore a few pieces down and then I'm trying to really practice mark making. So this is a paint pen and I just did some quick marks and they sort of reminded me of mountain lines. Um, if you read my other post on this piece, uh, it was about uh, a reflection on um, a meditation practice. Um, these lines here too also reminded me of the dock lines that you see at the, the marina or also the posts that you see down at the marina. So I kind of echo those shapes down here. Pull this one up a little closer so you can see the texture. Oh, missed a page by accident. Um, this one has quite a different feel, uh, but I was going through my collage papers and I found this piece of brown paper. It's kind of crinkled and stained with um, colors that I've laid on top of it in watercolor, a little bit of gesso, um, looks like some ink or maybe uh, water-soluble graphite. And I just love the texture and the feeling of this piece of paper so much. So I started the page with this piece and then I saw this piece of canvas, which is dyed with avocado dye. And I tore off the canvas and then kind of pulled the strings out I wasn't sure what to do with them, but I, I was gonna stitch them on or glue them on, but I, then I liked the, the look of them just loose. My eight-year-old told me firmly that she did not like that part, <laughs> but but I like the texture of them. Um, then I was working again on mark making. I took a big pencil and I just kind of pulled it and was making these marks and they sort of reminded me of something flying, like a, like a little bug flying or, or something. I liked the feeling of the motion here. And then um, I decided to add this moth here. And this one I just put on tracing paper and I, I traced it out of a book. I was feeling tired, I didn't feel up to drawing. So I just used black pen and I sort of traced it onto the tracing paper but also altered the image a little bit to make it feel like my own. And for me, somehow, when I was building um, this up, this motion here suggested flight and then this added to that theme of flight. And I wrote, uh, picked out a little phrase she seldom speaks about. See. Um, the next page is quite different again. I was um, just thinking about mountains and quick gestures. So, you know, this whole page maybe just took me a, a couple of minutes, definitely less than five minutes. It's Neo Color Crayon, kind of smushed on with my finger. I took a wet finger to blend the Neo Color, and then a paint pen and a watercolor pencil crayon, another little paint pen dot. So, this is just quick practice. Keep the hand moving keep the mind from freezing up on it. Uh, but this uh, directly led into the next page, which is thinking even more about mountains. And so I was using a, a dark gray, um, a Payne's gray neo color too. I find it helpful to keep little notes for myself because I think I'll remember the color, but then I'm not always sure. And then through the Payne's gray, I was uh, rubbing in white neo color and dragging in this olive green um, watercolor pencil crayon. So I like this, it kind of has a very West Coast feel to me. I was working on motion and smudges and just doing little quick studies without getting too uptight. And then you'll see um, one more collage that relates back to the previous ones. Again, this paper that I really like, some quick movements with that big paint pen and a little pen work up here. Uh, I was having kind of a not so fun day, but I always feel happier when I'm doing artwork. So that's that one. 
And then continuing with this mountain theme pops up again here, um, as well as using these found papers. So this is brown paper bag. And I just let the torn papers guide the first part of the composition. And then I established this line, um, kind of creating a mountain line on each one of them by using white pen, um, sorry, white Neo color to kind of knock back um, the brown paper. Of course, you still see it through, but I was thinking about creating lines out of uh, working on the negative space to push the mountain forward. Then I worked in again with that green um, watercolor pencil crayon, probably like an olive green, doing these quick gesture marks to suggest uh, landforms or maybe trails, and then going in again with a dark gray um, paint pen to add some trees, but trying not to get too fussy with it. This is just a sketchbook after all. And then you'll see how those previous ones led into the next thing. So things often follow a thread, one builds on the next, and I find a daily or near daily practice can really help keep those ideas flowing. So this one has brown paper, but the brown paper had um, some crafting, um, this is powder you can get, I've had it for years, like an embossing powder, and the paper had that on it. It's like melted on silver. So the silver kind of sparked my interest. Um, I decided to do more white to suggest a snow feeling. And then I used a silver pen to pick up on um, this silver here. And I did these moonscape, kind of like mountain moonscapes. I took a pen and while it was still wet, I just uh, smudged my finger into the wet spot to give it that um, glow around the circle. I think it was a Uniball Signo pen. And again, a little bit more paint pen here, just the, a dark gray one. And then this page, um, it might seem out of character with the previous page, but I was kind of interested in the color story happening here with the browns and the, the purple color. It's not a color I work with a lot, but I was enjoying it. So I pulled that into here. Um, I was using uh, indigo watercolor, which I got not too long ago. Um, I hadn't played with, and I used this old bottle to put some watercolor paint in and I can spray with it. Um, so I was playing around with shapes and that and bringing in again a little bit of light, some gold, I like gold or silver. Uh, more tracing paper with the dark color. I find that grounds the piece and playing with some mark making with pencils and watercolor pencils and neo color. So this one's t leaning more towards like a full art journaling page, less of a study. But um, there's something about working on the cheap paper, which just allows me the freedom to not get too serious about it. It's like I'm trying to trick myself into not being too worried about it. Um, I was working with my daughter. She was working on an art project for school sitting next to me. So I wanted to do something quick. Um, and I had been playing with this uh, spray bottle and the paint. And I had some, I always have scrap paper around for tucking kind of under the pages or testing pens on. And so I think I used um, this piece. Yeah, and so I was playing around with the idea of wiping the color this way to create a line. And then this one, I think it was the other way. I can't, I can't quite remember, but I was sort of using this torn edge to create a line. So investigating the same idea of these mountain lines in two different ways. So carving out the white space by adding purpley blue to the sky and then carving out the mountain um, on the flip side. And then just playing a little bit with my paint pen um, with different line quality. And this, uh, these two colors here, the green and the, the purple color are neo color. And this paper, like I said, it's just cheap paper, so it doesn't respond well to a lot of water. But if I just dip my finger in the water and smush it around, I can get a little bit of color down. Yeah, and I think that's all for right here.